Assalamualaikum and a very good evening to all. Thank you for joining our subsequent session of How is your Tajweed? Is my voice clear, Idlan? Uh, yes, sir. All right, okay. So we begin our session with uh, Surah Fatiha first. Alhamdulillah, thank you for joining. I know it's quite uh, difficult, eh, uh, Brother Idlan, to restart back our session after we already so-called uh, have a break, quite long break for about one month plus uh, to, to give uh, a proper break for all of us to celebrate Shawwal, especially uh, because I think there's a lot of programs at the end of the Ramadan, which actually uh, dragging out towards uh, Shawwal. And Alhamdulillah, now we have uh, the... The time, a great time for us to restart back our session. So for those that are joining, thank you very much. I really appreciate your presence in this session during this night. And no worry, we're going to record this. I think it's already recorded and we're going to share later on in our YouTube channel as well as as well as our official Facebook channel later on. All right, so so far, I think for the past seven series, Pradeetan and me already discussed quite a few hukum related to uh, our recitation in our Quran which we begin with the hukum of uh, Nun, uh, Sakinah and Tanwin. So if I can recap is that I think we can divide uh, the hukum into those that are very clear in the pronunciation, especially Izhar, and also Idram Bilaguna without any add added sounds or any uh, nasal sound when, we, when, there is a, when there is a meeting between Nun, Sakinah and Tanwin with the, with the huruf of Idram Bilaguna. Uh, another one is the one that we require add on with uh, the Gu, uh, as, and also if we need to include uh, the pronunciation of the subsequent Huruf. Example in Idram Ma'al-Runa, uh, Ifa Akiki, as well as Ikla. Yeah? So that are the, I would say that the, the main two categories or the main two division of the Hukum in Sakina and Tanwin. And after that, we already uh, migrated towards uh, another big and difficult hukum, which is hukum mat. And we begin with the introduction of hukum mat. And after that, uh, mat, uh, mat asli, uh, mat iwat, as well as mat din. Yeah? So probably uh, to, to gain again our knowledge and to revise back, uh, probably but the Ilan can revise it again about the hukum mat before we are going to discuss a new hukum today, uh, which is hukum mat iwat. Am I right, Brother Ilan? So with that, I pass the session to Brother Elan. Thank you very much. Yes, we have some of him. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Assalamu alaikum. So uh, basically for tonight is the topic is my wife. Okay, uh, before that. Uh, for mat, we already discussed on mat asli, then mat rilis sukun, and also mat ling. Okay, so for okay, so for uh, what we call for mat asli is uh, we say it is basic as it's okay when after what we call when there is uh, the, the the letter of mat which is alif wow. And yeah, which when those letter are so good, which is uh it is uh the pre the previous sign is for alif, yeah, it, the previous sign is uh above, and then for wow the previous sign is front, and for yeah the previous sign is um <coughs> sign is uh below. Nef that for for Masli and the har the harakah is uh, two harakat, and then also for and then for Marilis Sukan and Malin, and as we say, the from the previous session, uh, those two uh, have like we call the same sort of same uh, has same sign, but for Marilis Sukun, it is actually when we call like sort of Masli. But when it's okay in the end of the 
uh, in the MDI, yeah? or we can, when we stop. Then the uh, how we read is <clears throat> the harakah is two, four, and six. You can choose, and also for Madlin, when Madlin or okay, when before, yeah, uh, yeah, or wow, sakina, uh, the sign is above sign, above sign, and also when we stop. So it will Malin will occur and the sign also and the the, the arca also two four and six. Okay, so that's for for those three and then for the for our topic tonight is mat mat iwat. Really, this one is uh also one of the basic mat. Okay, so. Little bit on Tajweed. So, uh, like I said, that uh, in Malaysia we follow Hassan Asim, and all Mukalla Muslim is obligated to learn Tajweed uh, as uh, reading Fatiha is uh, is what we call is obligated in our salah. Okay, so let's go straight away to my Iwat. <coughs> okay, so for my Iwat, <coughs> uh, we call. The, the theory for my, my work is that this mat is uh, it, uh, okay when there is tanwin fatha, which is tanwin for above sign only. Tanwin for above sign only, and it's only applicable when well, we stop at that place. Okay, uh, I will show you later. And for this tanwin, we will replace it by alif mat. Uh, and we will pronounce in Tuharaka. Except, except if the, except uh, if the uh, we call the letter that have uh, tanwin fatha or a sign is tamar buta. Okay, I will show later. So I think if we see this picture, we will understand better. Okay, so for Okay, so uh, let's see this one. We see that uh, this is the original one, which is if we if we if we see this, maybe we will read it afwajan because it is end with tanwin. Also this tawaban and also this uh, and then okay. So, but for if we stop here, so um, we call if you stop here, uh, that that's when we call mat iwat. Let's say just now that the tanwin fatha, tanwin fatha, okay. So if we stop, uh, we will convert one. Uh, we call uh, it will convert into Alif mat, and then the fatah will be only single fatah, which is a single above sign. So we will read it as afwaja, ladies, tawaba, other. So, uh, so for next example, uh, okay. So let's just now the what we call the concept is that when there is but uh, when there is above, uh, we call tanwin, uh, above sign there is tanwin in the end of the ayah, or when we stop at the letter that have uh, we call above sign with tanwin, so that's when might work occur. Only for above sign, there is fatha, except for tamagotok. Okay. So for example, like this one. We had, uh, if we recall, if we proceed, if you if you continue uh, the ayah, maybe it will uh, it will become we had a masalan or something like that. But if you stop here, it will be we had a masala, we had a masala only for we call as it is now, fatha. <coughs> Uh, above sign, uh, ten me. We have the method, uh, a short time. 
atattakhizuna huzwa this not atattakhizuna huzwan that is the wrong way to read atattakhizuna huzwa thamanan qalila wa nadhira lin nasi imama okay so that's for okay the basic for my word okay but let's like say just now it, it is except for tamar buta so for the tamar buta uh if we read fil ard khalifa minar fil ard khalifa ta no no it uh, also na ayam ma'dudata ah uh, you got I don't know why, but uh, it is said that for, uh, if uh, the tanwin for the what about, for the tamar buta, so there will be no ma'iwat. So except for tamar buta, if we see tamar buta, so the the ma'iwat will not occur. So we read like there is not no tanwin. Fil arudi khalifa ayyaman ma'adudah. Okay, so, so, sorry to disagree. Okay. Is it because in uh, when there is a tanwin in tamar buta, because after that tamar buta, there will be no adif. So that's why it's, uh, if there is adif, it's not tamar buta anymore, right? It's, it's ta, right? It's uh, the, uh, the, 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 the old ta, the, the usual ta, and there is Ali following that. So that's why it, uh, when there is no Alif in that ta, I always just consider it's like not into the Tanwin hukum of, um, sorry, not the equal to the Ma'i one. Right? Uh, may I ask about the previous one that you mentioned just now when there is uh, Tanwin followed by Alif? Because I remember okay. this mistake I did uh, before our, our long break previously, I think in Surah al waqiah in verse 35, I did, I did uh, recite the ayah. Inna ansha'na hunna insha. Right. Uh, it's supposedly insha'a. Am I right? Everybody learn? Insha'a. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, uh, we got uh and for this one it is also considered as my word okay that one okay, um, uh, that was sorry if i can compare uh because yeah. the one that you mentioned just now tanwin following yeah. by alif right but yeah, yeah. Uh, the one in surah al waqia in verse 35 uh, mm, this one. is tanwin with the alif yeah. so that one we need to recite insha at or we need to recite insha -a. Insha. Okay, so uh, if we go back to okay, if you go back to the concept, mm -hmm. uh, actually, uh, what do you call uh, almost all, uh, almost all. Uh, the for my what uh, because after the after the tanwin after the uh, tanwin that is above sign they will followed by alif almost mm. all <coughs> but almost all, right? if we uh, if we go back to the concept my what occur when there is uh, when we stop at a uh, letter that that have uh, tanwin and above sign and it is not necessary that there is a leaf or not after that. I see. Because uh, um, uh, uh, what I said about a leaf is that uh, how we read it. Because okay. uh, when, uh, so like how we read it, it, it will be the tanwin will be replaced by a leaf mat and will be pronounced into harakah. Understandable, it's crystal clear. So the one that example just now, memang ada alif lah, there is alif, but does not mean necessary, must be alif there. As long as the tanwin yes. is above sign, all right. Okay, understand. So any tanwin with above sign, uh, and it's going to be at the end of the ayah, is considered mad imwat, and it should be pronounced into harkah. Yes. Okay, all right. Thank you, thank you, Wadi. Okay, so uh, let's just now, uh, almost all, 
or okay, uh, we see in the next example, like I said, uh, almost all uh, for Ma'iwat, it will, the tanwin will be followed by Alif. But uh, this is now, the, the concept is now, it is not, not necessary to have the Alif. Okay, so we will we see the we we'll see the example from the uh, just the summer. Okay, so first for the first example uh, from the surah al adiyat okay, So uh, if you can see there is uh, five five uh, ma'iwat. Azam al-Shaytan فالمغيرات الصبحا فأثرنا به نقعا فوسطنا به جمعا Okay, okay so uh, if we see the verse number 6 it also start with the tanwin but it is not a both sign for example like إِنَّ الْإِنسَانَ إِنَّ الْإِنسَانَ لِرَبِّهِ لَكَنُودَ So even though it is uh, tanwin, but it is not a both sign, so it is not considered as my way. So we will, it is like we ignore the, uh, there will be no near. <coughs> the tanwin will, will be sukun. Okay, so that's one okay, first. Sorry, sorry for this, okay. story, just to revise. Lakanud is mad aili sukun, is it? Ah, yes, correct. Okay. Two, okay, four, so, six, uh, two, four, or six are okay, right? Two, or four, two, four, six. Right. Okay. Uh, okay, so that's why first, there is the Tanwin. Should be able to sign. And then the second, what we call the second, we can say like rule. It's only when we stop. <clears throat> example, like if we, if we continue, uh, verse one and verse two, so it will uh, automatically there will be no my wife because my wife only occur when we stop like well idea to the baha if you continue well idea to the baha fell more yeah so it will be another hukum which is if I so, uh, so my work when we stop at that place. So that's to record to concept to like rule for my work, which is first it should be tanwin that is a boss sign, and then the second one is that we stop there. If we not stop there, so there will be no uh my work. Okay, <clears throat> so. That's for the first example. And then we give, we go for to the next example. So and this surah, surah al nasr Azulash <coughs> Tamajib. Wara aitan na sayyid khulu na fi dinillahi afwaja. So yes, but if we continue. Wara aitan na sayyid khulu na fi dinillahi afwaja. Fasabih bihamdi Rabbika wastaghfir. So if we continue automatically, uh, there will be no ma'iwat. Like if we stop there, and the tanwin is fatah, eh, tanwin is a sign, so it is ma'iwat. Okay. So for to the, the example. Uh, sorry, but I can go back to the second one just now. Uh, yeah. the, last, the last ayah, uh, kana tawa by the one so ma'iwat, right? Ah, yes, my wife also. But, uh, yeah, uh, well, uh, I don't plan to mention it because uh, I thought it might uh, be confusing because uh, the tanwin, like, it is not, not so. Yeah, it does some uh, mean yes. sign there. Mean. Ah, yes, uh, because uh, 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 if we think like, if we continue, in Nahuka Nata Waba, it will continue with Bismillah. Bismillah. So that's why it will be like that's why uh, we pronounce mim because tanwin mi ba. Hmm? Ah, yes. I see. So, so I uh, like uh, this one is what we call the the modern one. Yeah. Because they uh already put 
for the, the for the club they put yes me but actually it is uh ten wing yeah okay. uh, but uh because the doctor already mentioned about it so this one also uh ten uh, ten wing and we also read it as my word right. inna hu kana tawwaba okay so to the, the example from the surah al or surah ashshar فَإِنَّمَا الْعُسْرِ يُسْرَى إِنَّمَا الْعُسْرِ يُسْرَى فَإِنَّمَا الْعُسْرِ يُسْرَى إِنَّمَا الْعُسْرِ يُسْرَى Okay, so uh, I think that's three example. And uh, if we can recap back that <coughs> first, the, for the concept for my word, first it should be only for the uh, ten win with above sign. Second, uh, it only occur when we stop there. We walk off there. We stop there. Not like uh, if we stop. If we continue, the maiwa will. There will be no maiwa. And then the third one is that it will be read as to haruka. So, fa inna maal usri yusro. It is not fa inna maal usri yusro. Should be. It should be to haruka. Fa inna maal usri yusro. So, I think uh, that's all for uh, my event. Alhamdulillah, thank you very much by the headline. So, I think this is something that we, uh, I mean, it's, it's always our nature to pronounce it at the end of the ayah, to pronounce it as my event, but sometimes we're not sure what the, the name of the hukum, right? And sometimes we might ex accidentally make it more than two harka, but it's supposed to be only two harka, right? Okay. Yes. So overall, I think it's, it's yeah. much have some uh, correlation between the previous hukum might, uh, meaning that uh, there's uh, is either uh, because when we're talking about hukum might, then definitely there will, will be elements of uh, either is following uh, uh, baris atas, baris depan, or baris bawah. In this hukum, you uh, might what what important is that the tanwin is must be above sign baris atas. Right? Yes. And at the end of ayah, and should be towards wakaf or to, to full stop of the, the sentence of or the verses of that one. Okay, great. So I think uh, as usual in our session, in uh, how is your target? Uh, we will make uh, another uh, following that is another section whereby uh, me and Brother Edlan will recite uh, verses from our Quran in order for us to make a revision of our recitation. And after that, inshallah, there's time we will allow anyone from our audience to recite the Al-Quran as well, right? So now we're still in the Surah uh, Al-Waqi'ah. Is it true, Brother Ilan? Yeah, okay. So today, inshallah, I will recite Surah Al-Waqi'ah verses 41 until 50. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. وأصحاب الشمال ما أصحاب الشمال في سموم وحميم وزل ميحوم لا بارد ولا كريم إنهم كانوا قبل ذلك مترفين وكانوا يسرون على الهرس العظيم وكانوا يقولون إذا مسنا وكنا ترابا وعزاما أئنا لمبعوثون أو آباؤنا الأولون قل إن الأولين والآخرين لمجموعون إلى ميقات يوم معلوم صدق الله العظيم Yeah, thank you, Doctor. If you uh, allow me, uh, uh, I think for the Tajwid part, I think uh, it's all good. Uh, maybe for the what do you call the pronunciation or like yeah, the makrash, uh, I think only one part which is Turo Turo Bang Turo Bang Waido. Like uh, for the euro, uh, the uh, they know uh, read right. 
تراب ايش بي ترو رو ترو رو ترو ان بس Thank you, thank you very much for that uh, highlight, the correction. Thank you very much. All right. So maybe now we invite Buddy Ilan to recite the same ayah for us to listen. Thank you, Buddy Ilan. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajim Wa ashabu shimali ma ashabu shimal Fi samumi wa hameen وظل من يحموم لا بارد ولا كريم إنهم كانوا قبل ذلك مترفين وكانوا يصرون على الحنث العظيم وكانوا يقولون أئذا متنا وكنا ترابا وعظاما أئنا لمبعوثون أو آباؤنا الأولون قل إن الأولين والآخرين لمجموعون إلى ميقات يوم معلوم. سلك الله العظيم. Marilan, maybe I I would like to revise another comprehensively, which is I I think hukum mat mat asli. Uh, because here uh, in verse uh, 38 uh, sorry 48 our uh, abun al awwalun hamza uh, with uh, uh, wow hamza above wow right baun al awwalun that one uh, because uh, is actually uh, that one we we need to recite into harka or actually just one harka Okay, so uh, for our Aba Unal Awalun, so actually this one, what do you call it? Actually, that's wow is not the, I can say that it is actually Hamza. No, yes. It is actually part of Hamza. Part of the Hamza. Like sometimes we see like above Alif, there is Hamza. Yeah. Ah, so. So it's not. It's not. It's not mad, lah. It's not mad. Ah, yeah, it's not mad. So we 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 the our ba unal awal. So no no unal. Alright. Okay. Okay. So I I think it's quite often as well. Uh, that we sometimes find out that there is element of this. Uh, Hamza above Alif. Hamza above Wow. So I I myself might essentially make it might yeah. Thank you, thank you for highlighting that. Uh, so actually, how eh, practice learn to make it clear that it's actually not hukum might. Uh, is it the 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 position of the letter is definitely uh, uh, below Hamza? Is it? If it's, uh, it's uh, another uh, side, then consider hukum might, right? Uh, even even also for for ya yeah, when the the Hamza is uh, called in. Called above the ya, so it also as like uh we can say for our aba Hamza and after that Alif, so that's why because it is separated, so that's why is parsley. But when the the Hamza is like called the either it is above Alif or below Alif or above one. Above here, so it is like consider as one, one, one letter. Okay. I'm really sure. Ah, why? Yeah, yeah. Ah, why Hamza? Ah, always. Yeah. So I, I think it's a new, new learning, learning knowledge as well for me to realize about this. Thank you. And we have one question. Uh, one question from our audience from Nur Azati. She said that on ayah forty seven there are wa izama. If we decide to stop at ma, can we read it as ma iwan? Ah, but Ilan. Forty seven. Seven. I think it's wa izama. Yeah, wa kunya turaba wa izama. Yes, correct. Yeah. So because uh, if you stop there, 
So the we call the the rule for my work will be fulfilled, which is is uh, tenwin uh, above sign, and also we stop. So if we stop at turaba, we kuna turaba also my work. So for anzama also my work. So that's why I said it is not necessary. It is at the end of the ayah. That's why uh, it, the rule is we we stop. Uh, uh, it's not the rule as is the not the end of the ayah. Yeah. If, as long uh, as we decide to stop there and we find out there is a can win at a birth sign, then we consider it as my what to harka. Yeah. Ah, yes. Thank you, buddy. Yeah. So I think now we still have few few minutes before our our end of our session. I think we are more happy if there's anyone from our audience who would like to volunteer to read this ayah from Surah Al Waqiah verse 41 until 50. If there is. Yeah, probably, uh, probably we just start back our sessions by the end. So probably our audience also need to uh, take time to, to join in as back, right? But then, yeah. Well, okay. If not, then before we, we end our session, but then what will be the next topic for our Hukum Mat series after this? Every week and every session, I learn new points for me. <laughs> so it's, it's, it's uh, very interesting to, to know what will be the next topic. Okay, so the next topic, uh, I'm thinking of combining uh, mat, the two mat, which is mat wajib, mat wajib, mutasil, and mat jais mufasil. Yeah, okay, great, great. Uh, before we forgot, I, I think uh, we also need to cover, probably up to hukum, right? We need to cover just a bit of hukum mim, uh, mim sakina, which I think oh, we yes. will not cover before we migrating towards hukum, right? Uh, I think it's quite similar with hukum nun sakina, but there are some little bit of difference, if I'm not mistaken. Just, just to, yes. to, to highlight about that as well, which I think quite simpler compared to hukum, which is quite complicated, but really, really need to be known in order for us to reset our, 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 reset our time. Uh, properly and uh, in a correct manner. Yeah. Okay. With that, I would like to thank to our brother Islan for being patient with me or with my some sometimes is unexpected questions and always able to to convey and answer it properly for our understanding. And thank you to be with us every sessions until now until this uh, half of the year. And we're hoping that it will be sustainable for subsequent months until the end of the year, inshallah. And we will until next year. With that, we end our session with Shatu As and Tasbih Kifara. Thank you everyone. For those who just joined in, you may log in into the I attend. And inshallah, for those who are unable to join from the beginning, uh, inshallah, the recorded version is available. We're going to upload later in our YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Assalamualaikum and good night. Thank you, Mr. Thank you, everyone. Assalamualaikum.